Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to a new lesson. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to utilize keyframe to add VFX to your video. This is not supposed to scare you. VFX are not supposed to be hard. VFX are supposed to be simple. In this example, we're gonna utilize some of film stock footage to create anamorphic flare and add some storm vibes to a drone shot. Remember, you don't need to subscribe to Filmstock. For this effect, you can use any footage you like as long as it fits the purpose. So let's get right into the video. Before we start editing, let's download Filmora 12. Click the link below, click download, install it, and now you're ready to follow along this tutorial. As always, the first thing you need is the right shot for the right effect. So for this instance, I decided to pick this couple hugging at sunset to utilize the anamorphic flare with. And then I found this shot at doubling at dusk, which is gonna look epic because it's cloudy, it's hazy. So we're gonna add a very cool, moody storm vibe to it. Once we got our footage, we need our overlays. For this, as I said before, you can use anything you like. For this specific example, we're gonna use the lens flare pack from Filmstock. And then I found just like a lighting strike footage from any royalty free platform will do. Or maybe you shot one yourself. The reason is I want to use a real lighting strike and I will show you guys how to actually overlay two videos like this one, a lighting strike into a different video all by using a bit of masking, a bit of keyframing and just make them belong to each other. The trick when adding VFX to your videos is always to try and make it as more realistic as you can. You don't want it to look fake. You want it to look like the effect was already made in camera. So if it's a smooth camera shot, it's better. Just because handle usually get this well jitter that it just, it's very hard to track and mask and keyframe something to it. So for this specific shot, for example, let's add our sticker, which is our anamorphic flare on top. I'm gonna double click onto it. I'm gonna keyframe the start. I'm gonna keyframe the end. We're gonna adjust it to our shot. I'm gonna keyframe the opacity. Let's start with setting the opacity of our shot to the right amount. And then we're gonna find a moment where the sun goes behind the couple. We're gonna keyframe the opacity in and out. And then we're gonna track the whole scene using keyframes and positioning and zooming in our anamorphic flare. Once you're happy with all the keyframes and everything looks pretty natural, you gotta to remember to go and change the opacity to screen just to make it look a bit more realistic. Obviously, in this case, it looks a bit off just because there is a tiny bit more flare from the actual lens of the camera. So if you're using this effect, try and use it whenever there isn't really a flare. Otherwise, it just doesn't look that real. But for this example, just to make you guys understand, this will do. Now let's move on to our drone shot and let's add some lining to our scene. So what we're gonna do is drop the first footage on the bottom and the lining on the top. We're gonna change the opacity to overlay and adjust it so that the end of the footage matches kind of the where the sky ends so that our lighting strike kind of hits the city then all we're going to do is duplicate it and reverse it 180 so that it matches again but upside down so that the effects looks better and then the one above we're going to create a mask and blur the mask 100 percent so that it looks smooth and it looks like it belongs there once you've done that you're going to do the same with the bottom one and now it looks pretty good but it doesn't really make sense that the top really stays there and the drone shot move forward. So we're gonna keyframe the position and the zoom of the main one, which is the top part of where the lighting strikes. We're gonna keyframe it at the start, we're gonna keyframe it at the end, so it zooms in a little bit and it kinda moves within our city shot. The last thing to do is simply adjust our colors within the shot because our shot below, it's very dull, it's very moody. There's not much going on, there's not much color. So what we're gonna do is double click onto our main lighting shot and remove a bit of saturation, a bit of vibrancy. And now when you play it back, it looks like it belongs there. Especially if you add something like this to one of your videos, just to spice them up a little bit, it'll make such a difference if you wanna make something impactful. Hope you guys learned something new today. I'll see you guys in the next video.